Electric vehicles are on the rise, but for the most part, they're based around diesel or petrol designs. But a UK-based company started from the ground up, designing a product based entirely on the future, where we're going rather than where we've been. As a result, arrivals work to remove the barriers to electric vehicle adoption, creating a commercial vehicle that is autonomous ready, light, modular and most important, affordable. I'm Andrew Wilson and I'm in Davos to talk to Arrival. Mike and Avanash, good to see you. So Arrival has now arrived. Tell us a bit about where the company is, how you got here. Yeah, so Arrival uh, is revolutionizing electric vehicles, making them at cost parity or cheaper than traditional electric vehicles. Uh, to do this, we've actually been uh, founded in 2015. We've been in stealth. We have over 800 employees from a really diverse blend mix of uh, software engineers and uh, traditional automotive from a variety of different industries. And our product is actually best in class on uh, cargo, uh, payload and um, range. Tell us a bit about the product then. That comes out next year. It does. And so our product we've been working on is a large commercial van. One of the reasons we've chosen that segment is commercial vehicles make up somewhere between 20 and 25 percent of the total vehicle miles traveled, depending on the country. And so we think it's a very appropriate and a great segment to apply electric vehicles and electric vehicle technology to. So what Arrival has done, we've stepped back. We've started completely with a clean sheet of paper and applied all the most recent technologies to how do you get to an economical electric van that, as Avinash said, costs the same or less as a petrol-based vehicle. What are the benefits of tearing up the rule book and starting again from scratch rather than building on a base of something that came before? I would say it's the only way you can deliver an electric vehicle that's the same cost as a petrol vehicle. We want to make an electric vehicle that is a no-brainer for fleet customers to buy, that take away all the excuses on why they would or wouldn't buy an electric vehicle. I think on top of that, it allows us to also then add a whole bunch of innovation that legacy can actually stop. So by blank sheeting this, we've figured out you know, how we can upgrade the vehicle over its lifetime, how we can make them in micro factories, which are really small footprint factories that we can put in the areas of demand. Compare that to the legacy, which is you know, one large central factory that has to make hundreds of thousands of units to be profitable. Ours are profitable at low volume in micro factories. We can then make those vehicles bespoke we can reduce the amount of time that it takes to make a vehicle from five years down to only uh, a year or few. And we can work directly with our customers to actually bespoke the vehicle to create uh, purpose-built vehicles. Uh, on top of that, we have a modular architecture that enables the vehicle to be upgraded over time. So you don't just buy an arrival vehicle uh, today, you actually stay with us over the life of the vehicle. We upgrade it as new technologies come along. And even the assembly is modular, right? So we always think of vehicles as coming off an assembly line, which means a huge plant and a lot of employees and all the technology that goes into that. But this is done differently, right? It is done differently. The assembly line has basically not changed in its fundamental form for 100 years. And it's certainly more than time for a company like Arrival to step back and take a look at how vehicles are manufactured and apply all the latest technology. In doing that, we come up with a very different manufacturing concept. It's not using an assembly line, and perhaps most importantly, it's done with the concept of micro factories. So factories that build a smaller annual volume than a typical uh, legacy assembly plant, but can do so still very efficiently and very effectively. Let's talk about the use of the vehicle. I mean, the big challenge with EVs is so far in the press has always been about how far the battery will take you before you need to recharge it. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why you're starting with a commercial vehicle, I suppose, the predictability of that. But tell us a bit about the supporting the battery life. Certainly with commercial customers, they know exactly what range they need to, to drive their routes, as opposed to a retail customer who's trying to imagine all the trips they may or may not take during the course of a year. And the vehicles come to a central depot, which makes the whole infrastructure question easier. And also, if you look at the properties of our vehicle, the way we build the, the, the outer body, the panels, the vehicle is actually very light. And that enables us to then, again, extend the range. So, you know, our vans will be 200 miles plus. They'll cover most of the scenarios that our fleet customers will use. And as Mike said, we can actually optimize that. So we are currently working with um, fleet customers that basically know their defined routes, and we can then optimize the vehicles for them. But also, a lot of the routes, especially in urban environments, are actually quite small, quite like 50 miles or so, right? 
And we can actually customize the vehicle to have less batteries for that and save the customers the, the cost on the vehicle. I read also that your van will be autonomous ready. Talk me through what that means. So at Arrival, we're first of all creating autonomous depot uh, vehicles. So in a depot, the route that the vehicle must travel is controlled, and that's a much easier way to launch your initial autonomous technology. But what we've actually done is created a platform that when autonomous is ready for the roads, whether it's our software or somebody else's software, we're able to upgrade the hardware and software in the vehicle to basically enable that. So the same vehicle that you would buy today, even though we don't have autonomous cars on the road, that same vehicle would then be autonomous when that technology is ready. So the big news is that Hyundai are coming on board with Arrival. That must be, well, obviously that's a, that's a game changer, but also perhaps reassurance that the timing is right, that this is the year that this, these kind of moves should be being made. Exactly. So, you know, Hyundai, one of the top automotive uh, manufacturers and producers of vehicles in the world, have basically spent a lot of time with Arrival, and we believe that our strategies are quite aligned in what we want to do, which is bring electric vehicles en masse, They're better for the people, better for planet, better for business. And so Hyundai has uh, looked at what Arrival is doing and the technology we've created and our uh, microfactory approach and decided that a partnership would be a very powerful way of bringing that mission together. And so with, with Hyundai, we're looking at how do we get all the things that we've mentioned at scale uh, over the next few years. And where's the muscle in that, Mike? Is it in production or is it in distribution? The muscle in the partnership with Hyundai is absolutely in the engineering, the sourcing and the manufacturing, the, the core of the business of designing and manufacturing vehicles. Because Hyundai's long experience and great depth of knowledge in all these areas is going to be a huge asset to arrival. The dream of upscaling must be there. You must be constantly thinking, where's this all taking us? How's this all going to develop? What is your vision, Mike? Well, the opportunities, I think, are enormous for arrival. As we said, we're going into a market segment that's growing very quickly. Not only is it growing quickly, but Replacing those high utilization vehicles has huge benefits for cities and the environment. We will start with commercial vans. I think we'll look over time at other types of commercial electric vehicles as well. Arrival is actually a paradigm shift for the market. So uh, I mentioned before, we call these generation two electric vehicles. You know, with the cost leadership and the product leadership, the upgradability, good for the environment, it's good for our customers with half the operational cost. But it's, also, it's a no-brainer to buy these vehicles. And then on top of that, being upgradable over the lifetime, and our skateboard platform and our microfactories and the fact that we're vertically integrated, building all the electromechanical systems, it enables us to rapidly create new variants, new products, you know, in a matter of what's normally taken three to five years for a typical OEM to do, we can do within 12 months. So what you'll see is once Arrival launches, and what's exciting, I think, for both of us and, and Arrival as a whole, is how we will have uh, multiple vehicles and um, basically go through uh, and, and bring this benefit across multiple segments. Mike Avanash, great to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Our pleasure.